Hello everybody, welcome back. Last video we bought the family home and we went through and cleaned up a little bit and then after the recording I went around and mowed all the grass, took out all the weeds and we're here and we're going to do some interesting stuff. I actually really like this bathroom. I don't think I want to change anything about it. So we're going to pretend that bathroom was there all along and well it has been here all along but there's nothing we need to do with it. But I am taking all these things out of here and having a look because I don't know if I like this door here. I was thinking of putting an arch instead. I don't know. Maybe I just like the slightly open plan areas rather than the, the closed in stuff. So that is my thought process there. We've got an office here, which is great, and I'm going to utilize it as an office. It has curtains here that we have to put up before we can sell. So we'll do that and then sell them because they really work with the, with the decor in the room. And I think we're going to get rid of most everything in here. Ooh. I have a new skill point. Not anymore is there a place for your documents. Your documents have no place. Ah, we have a plug to fix. Fortunately, our skills are getting quite good right now. In fact, I must look. I'll take you to our skill tree. Uh, demolition. Faster demo. More muscle strength. I think I'm going for faster demo. But if we look at the cleaning skills, we full. Painting skills. We have one more skill to go. Where we can paint four walls at the same time. Handyman is full. Demolition, eh, quite a way to go. Building, a way to go. Negotiation is full. And gardening is full. So we've been working hard. Okay, so that room is empty. That room is still going to be used as an office, I think. And... This is our combined kitchenette, dining room, living room, and we're going to sell stuff. Including the fireplace. Remember when this game, this house first came out, we didn't have a a corner unit like that to replace it with. We always try to hang on to the kitchen units. Not anymore. Okay, we have another plug here. This is our downstairs area. I took the door off and I opened this up to the garage. 
reasoning probably is that we use this as a laundry area. We can put a workshop area in here. These shelves can remain like this. And then we can put a desk and a couple of tools on the wall and then have our laundry area. So there is that. Now I think we need to change the stairs. I'm interested to know. Okay, so if we change the stairs, all the surrounding areas here do change. So that's a good thing. Let's have a look at what we have. Dark wood, light wood, gray wood. Hearts, banisters. I'm guessing that's the same color. Ah, beige. Black. And white. Then the balustrade. Details and then the base is the actual color of the stairs. Okay, I'm thinking of keeping this area quite light because it's a quite enclosed area so I was thinking of white stairs and grey or beige, beige grey mist is not a bad colour these greys are a little harsh there's pure white and then there's white. Now, to me, pure white looks less white than the white. <laughs> Does that make sense? I think I'm going to stay with the white stairs because I was thinking of a white panel bottom area here. Similar to what they've got here, but without the floral wallpaper. Why is there a stripe there? Did I? Ah, okay. We will do that. That stripe is going to drive me nuts. Okay, so with that, that opens it up to pretty much any color wood that we want, or any color floor that we want. And I'm thinking of keeping the color all the way through the, the downstairs areas, obviously, except the bathroom. So let's have a look and see what we've got in the store. Panels. And again, even though there's a lot of windows in this room, behind us, it's quite dark so we only have that window down here and then the light coming from wherever so let's have a look and see what we can find these are very yellow I don't want white Those are very orange. Hmm. 
more country cottage than house in the city. like those. And then these are the darker ones. These are the, the same. No, no, orange. Ooh. Where are those heading? Okay, so let's get these ones. I like these. They're light enough, but they've got enough colour in them. Actually, I'm just going to do the, the kitchenette in this. area that orange wood immediately gone immediately brightens up the whole room okay now let's not <laughs> take out the bathroom tiles. So I think we'll keep this tiled. I think tile to here and then concrete there. So I think that this has got a hint of orange but it also has a hint of all the other colors too so I'm happy with that. So entrance hall We have the high ceilings, and these are part of the panels. All right. Let's have a look at wood. It is slightly more refined wood. Spruce to yellow. Mm, I think it works okay with the floor. Not with the doors, though. But we will sell the doors and replace them. There we go. All right. Where was I? This one. Fill in the gaps. That gap is filled. Awesome. So this is spruce. Let's see if we can find some doors. And a spruce. Actually, quite like that because it's got a bit of detail on it. But the million ring red dollar question. Do they have spruce? Of course, they don't have spruce. Why would they? natural oak. We might have to replace that. This thing. Mm. 
Maybe they have oak. Alright, out you come. I did a few jobs before I came back to the game today. So we have a little bit of extra money to blow. I don't know if you can see, we've got 462, nearly 463,000. So we'll be fine. Okay, so if that is oak, I saw oak. Betcha that's not the same color. Gold, red, brown. Nope. Okay, so that's Elm, and that looks pretty similar, but not exact, so we'll just do the thing. We'll, come on, let's fit you in properly. There we go. This is the smaller door. American Elm. Oh, still in there. Uh, height. No, no. That one. So, they all work here, the front door and the back door are dark, you can change them, but let's just go upstairs and change all the doors up here too, because I might keep this wood on the floor, but I don't like it with the doors, let's just change all the doors. I don't think these doors have the bathroom option. We'll just put the standard door in. Rid of all the light fittings, we will replace them. Okay, I'm going to replace this door. This door is terrible. I like the door, but. These two will actually be really cool. Mm. 
do we want it out or do we want it in? I think we want it in. There we go. Nice light airy open area. Okay, let's decide. I'm thinking of panelling in here because that's always interesting. But I am thinking of neutral panel with a plain colour. So something like this. And then perhaps that for the staircase. Um, let's get one pack of, let's see how low are those I have to get one of those because my thought process is on the staircase I think that will just add a nice little feature to it maybe <laughs> all right and then these panels we can go through all the different the forest mist is actually a very pretty color but I'm thinking basic white and then we can always introduce pictures to make it look fun standing in one place <laughs> just paneling around me. That's terrible. I would have tried a wooden panel with a light wood at the bottom, but I know they don't really match up very well, so. I don't know if I like that. Let's just see if we do. One ceiling.
I like it. different options. This is slightly more subtle. Better need a corner there, aren't I? There. Or do I? Let's see. This is a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so this is the window. Too high on that one, I am. It's okay, I will fix it. Oh, I didn't do the paneling on that door. I missed it. Bring this down a bit. There we go. Now we've got to fill in the gaps. We have a gap here that's not going to fall. Let's just check this one. That one will work. That one has a little teeny tiny gap there that's going to drive me crazy. that we don't need the the aging and it just makes a feature of that wall just have that teeny tiny little gap there and I don't think we have a smaller for two meters one meter and 25 
Okay, I am going to pretend that is not there and we will, you see this is the corner one. Yeah. Okay. I'm selling this before I get out of hand with my molding. And then I'm thinking at the top there we can just paint the wall here white. I'm going to get a big white because we're going to need a lot of it. And it will take that transition away. So the only thing you'll see is the molding from the staircase rather than from the upstairs. It's a nice smooth transition. So we can play with colours here again, but more subtle colours, I think. Oh, the windowsill is dirty. It's terrible. Stores in the ceiling. Let's clean that. That's better. So from downstairs, you have the molding, but then you have a, a smooth transition to there, and it's nice and open and airy and bright and cheerful instead of a little bit um, messy as it was when we came in here. Okay, so the first thought is going to be if we're integrating the kitchen, kitchenette, dining and living room, what colors are we going with? Do we stick with a light kitchen are we going to go with a cottagey kitchen like the snowman kitchen something a little bit more interesting with a pastel kitchen or maybe even say with the white base and a pop of colour in the drawers. I want to go with like the creepy castle in Transylvania kitchen. we could go for something like this which is sort of farmhouse-esque like let's let's do the view go that is basically what we have. It's not a huge range, but it'll be enough for, for our needs. And then we can go with the, the white wood cabinets. Obviously change up the handles to maybe a cream. And then, let's see, light brown.
maybe a light brown or a brown. I think that's quite nice. Let's have a look at it in the actual environment. Brown is very brown. Should we go beige or light brown instead? Let's see. Mm, I think that wood matches a little bit better. All right, so we're going to get all the stuff that we need and then we can jigsaw puzzle it into place. So we're going to need a corner unit or two. There's plugs in this kitchen, I think. That's okay. I always like putting the sink under a window. I don't know about everyone else, but I like to actually watch something if I've got to wash dishes. We'll put a little cupboard in here. A little bit fancier. see if that little one will fit or we're gonna have to remove some plugs ah <laughs> like it was meant to that's not bad <clears throat> I was thinking of bringing it out in an L and having a, a um, no we can put a dining table there actually but we can bring it out in a bit of an L here and have a couple of seats as a breakfast nook. We will need Actually, we could probably put the breakfast nook nook here. Instead of a table, you're sitting eating here. Uh, is that silly? Maybe. Let's find a fridge in the meantime. We don't have a fridge that works with these cupboards I think just a standard which freezer combo we want a white glass or a white mat Maybe the white mat would work better with the wood. Question is, do we want a stove? Options do we have? Move the 
left here. There you left. But we'll just play jigsaw puzzles with you. Move that over. Or do we want it that side? Because this will be closer to the fridge. Ah. There's your problem. That's not wide enough. Hate shuffling stoves around the kitchen. Unless it's in a huge kitchen that we can actually play with a lot. So, sorry. Um, okay, I'll leave this one here and then put a, a, a hob. Come on. There we go. And then we can put a hob here. But the question is, do we continue this around? Or do we... I think we sell that. Get a little covered in. this one and then put a dining table right kitchen hob Induction cooking. Alright, then obviously colours. Oops. So tempted to use this. Not here. Subway tiles. I like these for the kitchen as well, but we have done those. I'm looking for something slightly different. That's good. Okay. Put some more behind here. Up to the window, I think. There. And then it's not too, too white. you that slightly textured tile that looks nice with the wooden cupboards cupboard cupboards okay I like that 
Let's move that outside. And then looking at this color, let's see. This gradient set has sucked me in, but some of these colors are weird. Very weird. I mean, what color is stylish khaki? that work on this wall? Do we get a little one and see? I know baby powder is also quite a nice colour so let's see. Now this is stylish khaki. And that's almost pink. This is baby powder, and they both show up terribly pink. So I don't think that's going to work, but we'll leave them outside because it's always good to have spare bot cans of paint around. And we will look maybe at the greens. Yeah, it looks nothing like that. Oh, why did I do that? It might work, but I'm not throwing a whole huge bucket of it. I keep on wanting to tie a wall. Paint. Should we go with that? Okay, I'm going to do a couple of walls and see what we think. Well, see what I think. Well, you know, you had to tell me what you think. Very sad. It's not a bad color. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab one of these buckets and bring it in to help us. Keep the surrounding white. These little cans of paint don't go very far, but 
You now use way less paint than you used to. That's not too bad. quite a pleasant colour once you look at it a couple of times. Not bad. Oh, I to go around the door. I paint? I think so. That's empty. I was going to keep it white, but this isn't too bad. It's not a in-your-face bright colour. It's more subtle. Well done, house flipper. Subtlety in colour. Awesome. We know that's the one we quite like. So if I put it out of the way, it's just like a base paint type thing. Alright, so we have a nice little kitchenette. I'm going to put some cupboards on the walls while I'm thinking about it. to go for plain white Can I but yes the only problem then is the stove is blocked there's no paste to cook so I think that'll work. Should I move this over? I think I should. I need having the stove right on top of the sink. There we go. Much better. We've got that cupboard there. Maybe just a flat cupboard on this wall here. Is that lined up? I think so. Okay. Kitchenette. Then we need a living room and a little dining area. So furniture, dining area, I'm thinking all right, we've got a lot of people in this house but it's never stopped us before from putting small stuff in or big stuff in. I mean the last time I think it was five people bought a house and there was one bedroom. This table is really small. Mm. And this is still quite big. Go white. That's the matching set. 
why not? Now we need some chairs. Green's green. Surprisingly enough, that's fairly close to the walls. I'm just dumping them for now. We'll line them up just now. Okay, so if we put this table closer here. have a little eating area. Hmm. This immediate urge to find a shirt and picture. So it looks terrible on the wall. This one. that urge. All right, so living room who needs a sofa, a TV on the wall, let's find a TV unit. We want to do this seeing as we've got the A sort of country kitchen. Maybe this one, which works with a kitchen. So many woods. They're just too matchy matchy. Some grey into the area. No, that just it's just the same same furniture. Can't do it. Need something different. Too much the same.
en cuate. Yes, except for the wood. I'm going for grey. Something different. And I think I'm going to put the TV on this wall. light switches over here many many light switches electronic equipment curtains up before I actually put the furniture in because otherwise we're going to fight with it later. ever touch the ground I swear that does oh short sorry my bad long there we go oops <clears throat> yes plain simple white curtains for the living room so those are the narrow ones these are the medium ones i think these will fit let's see yes who <laughs> assemble Curtains that touch the floor. I'm so excited. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put blinds on those two windows. Um, and find a sofa. And once we have that, I think I'm going to call it a day because I think I've been going on for quite a while here. Rambling on in your ears. Classic sofa. Don't want a corner sofa. You want to go white and maybe with the green? What other green options do we have? Okay, like that. I think that will work very well. It actually works very well with the wall. Hmm. And then a chair or two. These are the matching chairs for a sofa. 
but I'm thinking of just one of these. Do we want two of these or do we want one of these? No, let's put a second one in. No, we don't have space. A second one that side. But we can put in. Um, 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 the Ottomans. Actually, thinking on this table for in here, we can maybe do it in a maybe in the dark oak. I wonder how we'll wrap, how that will look. Actually, quite pretty. Can't really see it. Is that the big one or the small one? That is the big one. A smaller one in here. The coffee table. Not going with that. No, we've got a coffee table. We've got two coffee tables. What am I thinking of? Um. Stool. I'm thinking of these. I'm thinking of these, in fact. So, if we have the light base, what options do we have? That's quite sweet. And let's use this as the main coffee table. Put this one over here. that will work quite well. This is the brightest green in the room, all these chairs, but everything seems to look fairly relaxed and more country than super city, so I'm going to leave it here. We'll come back to this room, finish it up, possibly put some shelving there, put in lights, and all the rest of it, some plants, of course, <laughs> and the kitchen area. And then we'll probably go into the study and, and redo that. So there's a nice quiet place for everyone to go and do their work or do whatever they need to do on the PC or read a book or whatever. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you all soon. Bye.